downtown Dubai. Welcome to uptown Dubai. Let's go and meet Josh. So we've come up to the 33rd floor now. Joshua is expecting us, so I'll carry you through. Introduce you to Joshua, who's our brand representative for the So Uptown building, which is obviously, of course, the most luxurious building in Dubai. So Josh. Hey. Good morning. Nice How to see you. How are you doing? Good very to see good. You. And yourself? Yeah, doing fantastic. Fantastic. Well, pleasure to have you here. Thank you very much. Thank you as always. I know obviously we've met a number of times now. Of so course. like we spoke about before earlier on the phone, we're going to run through the amenities floor. Sure. Um, it's great to have you with us on this video. I obviously don't know all the facts and figures to this, although I am trying to really home in on Soap Town because I well, truly believe... Well, that's why believe... I'm here, right? Yeah, I'm going to exactly. With that. That's literally it. So when... When we come together, so if you're watching this and you're thinking, you know what, I'd really love a meeting at So Uptown, then of course we'll come and meet Joshua and Joshua will be able to take us around. Joshua is the expert in the So Uptown development and Uptown Dubai. So it's, uh, it's fantastic to have him on board. So let's, uh, I guess, make a start. If you could explain to us what we're doing here on the 33rd floor, the amenity we're standing in now. We are at the right place right now. This is the residence lounge as you see it. We have the pool table in place. We have a little workstation that you can have. We have a lounge area right here, which has the beautiful views, by the way, if you want to take a look. So as you're seeing outside this beautiful window here, you're going to see Jumeirah Park, Jumeirah Islands, and Emirates living to that corner. You're going to have JVC in the backdrop as well right there. We're going to get more of these views as we do a 360 degree tour around this floor. Okay. okay? Nice. Great. So the next amenity we'll go to after here? The gymnasium. Okay. Wonderful. If you uh, are happy to lead us there, Josh. For sure. That'd be Let's amazing. Come. Thank you. Okay. Let's go. So now we're entering the gymnasium here, Ben. Okay. You have 180 degree views, beautifully placed. You have the cardio equipment right here. Yeah. What's good is you have the athlete's floor on the ground. This way, your heels are not impacted by your workout. We have the weight section as you proceed towards this side. More of cardio, each with its own beautiful view. As you move towards the side, you're going to see Dubai Marina. You're going to see the Dubai Eye. And you're also going to get sea views while you're working out. A lot of expansion, I imagine, to the left as the years go on. Exactly. So as you're going to see the development occur here in Dubai, you're going to see more development towards the beachfront, which just gives you more beautiful views from this building. Very what nice. you see behind me right here, this is the yoga studio. So if you are a yoga enthusiast, this is the place to be. No problem. I'll let you go in, Greg, and uh, get some footage of this. I think it's very nice to have that natural space as well actually away from the gym like, exactly if you're you know, into a bit of meditation which i imagine some people are who are exactly in these buildings. that's why you have doors which you can close and separate yeah. yourself from the regular gym yeah. and as you see there's not going to be too much of interference yeah. from the weight section and the cardio section that yeah. that's right here yeah it, does, it makes a big difference and having a the gym like you can see all the equipment here it's all top range equipment that exactly the commercial gym and exactly just obviously being a guy, you take the look to make sure you've got a decent range of weights. There's nothing worse than if you're having to get a new other gym membership or you're having to constantly go exactly. to another gym. Whereas here you can see you can do flies on there, you have all the exercise you'd be able to do. So it is it's a fully equipped gym and sometimes what I notice is the developments are missing that. Yes. And it definitely, when it comes to the end user product and the end user who's coming to rent, exactly. you're going to command higher price having a fully equipped gym in comparison to something that isn't. Absolutely, absolutely. So I believe the next place we're going to is the swimming pool. You're right, yeah. let's go ahead. No problem. Cool. thank you. I appreciate it. No worries. So as we're coming through here, I imagine, are we still rolling, Greg? Yeah, cool, no problem. So we'll keep it as natural as possible. Exactly. As we go through. Um, so we're gonna enter the indoor swimming pool. Remember this building has two swimming pools. The outdoor pool is part of the hotel, but your resident has access to it. This is exclusively for the residents only. So we're gonna go in, okay? okay. Just give me one second. Yeah. So now we're entering the indoor swimming pool, Ben. Check out this beautiful pool that's segregated into three components. You have the kids pool, the beautiful adults pool, and a jacuzzi as well. Now, what's good about this, look at the views that you're gonna get. You're having the beautiful sea views, right? 
in the evening, especially the sun sets on this side. Yeah. And especially you have your swimming pool beds right there. A view of this in the evening, you can't miss this. Yeah, I mean, I should expect from quite literally the most luxurious building in Dubai. Yes. This is an incredible premium space. I know from High Net Worth Clients, her work group, they've been looking to relax somewhere at the end of the day. Right. We will be high quality individuals and this is where you find it in this pool. It's nice that you have the kids pool as well. It's nice that you have the jacuzzi. You could easily spend two, three hours here. Just absolutely, out, absolutely. Out. The fit, finish and quality is exactly that of a five-star hotel because we are a five-star branded residence. So yeah. is a part of the same Sofitel SLS Rixos yeah. group, the parent company known as Ecor, which is very familiar with a lot of your yeah. clientele. Yeah. So you're looking at the massive floor to ceiling height, beautiful sea views, three segregated pools, especially with the jacuzzi over here. Come, let's take a look at the jacuzzi. You have your sort of cabana spaces right here. The shower is right at the back for you to get cleaned up, freshened up. And imagine walking towards this way right here, be it the daytime or the evening time. You're just relaxing right here, getting the beautiful view of the sea and the sunset. What could be better? Nothing. I mean, it's absolutely incredible to see. And you can see just before going for an evening out, you know, relaxing here. Before absolutely. Going for the evening meal. Yeah, beautiful. So if we go through, check the next amenity, which I believe is the cinema. Is the cinema. Yeah. You got it. You got it. Let's do this. Thank you, Josh. Well, I mean, what can you show us? This is, every single, obviously, we're working over 350 developments. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is the most luxurious development. Hands Absolutely, down. hands down. And it's ready. That's the best part. Yeah, exactly. This is, and it's an 80 20 mortgage, or if you're a non resident, we can get you a 40 60 mortgage. We have mortgage options, so you can, your client is free to pay in cash, or if he wants to go for a mortgage, he's able to do that. We provide the required documents, whatever they need. So, your client loves watching movies, I'm sure. Welcome to the private theater. This is for friends and family. So the way it works is it's very simple. They make a call to the concierge below. You know, we have concierge as well, right? Yeah. Five-star branded residence. So they book the slot for them. It, it's, it's included in your service fees itself. You don't pay any extra cost. You can have your friends and family over. This room is yours for that particular time slot. Okay, and it's not just for private cinema. If you have a small event, you can rent this as an event space as well. Nice, That's all right. With the little birthday parties and absolutely, like absolutely, absolutely. It's all these amenities which mean the world to the client. Yes. Simply when you are you know, you're buying in to a luxury brand, you'd expect that. And of course. Thing, like I'll touch on it now because I feel like it's a good, good a time as any to touch on it. Is security? I think for a lot of high net worth people, security is paramount. It is key. It's the primary requirement that okay. most of our clients have here. That's so I've been asked this question, how's the security in the building? This is a government building, DMCC. Yeah. Right. So the residence, the commercial and the hotel is separated by different elevators yeah. and you're going to need an access card. Okay. So no random strangers walking yeah. around. Everybody will have the access card. Yeah. It's only with your permission that somebody else can come in. There will be concierge, 24-7 yeah. security, valet yeah. service as well. Yeah. This way, you're yeah. not going all the way to the parking lot. You're just yeah. giving it to the valet guy. Yeah. So these kind of services that we offer that comes with this project, yeah. this is top notch. Yeah. Right? It's, it's absolutely paramount. I know from working with clients in London, in West London, that security is key. Yes. It is absolutely key. No matter where you are in the world, yes. you want to be able to live in a secure building, feel safe and sound at home, and actually just have that, that luxury of having a secure building. It's, absolutely. It's so You've spent a hard day's work. Yeah. You come home in the evening. The last thing you want to have is a security compromise. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, You're paying for it. Yeah. You need to get your money's worth. And I absolutely. think it, in Dubai, it's the least place you need it. But interestingly, I imagine everyone still wants it. Yes. <laughs> Here, security is by default for yeah. throughout the country, right? Yeah. Uh, you made that point. It's very good. Yeah. Security uh, in buildings that we have here yeah. is not from a threat point of view. Yeah. It's more of a privacy point yeah, of view. So you do not want too many unknowns walking in, walking yeah. out. That is what we mean by, you know, the 24-7 security. Of course, yeah. they also prevent any possible crime if yeah. there is, yeah. which is non-existent. Yeah. Yeah. But if there is, let's say hypothetically yeah. there is, but it is to maintain absolute privacy of your Amazing. client because okay. they would not want to interact with people they do not know. Yeah. And that's yeah. why you have the different levels of concierge. Right. You have security, the valet yeah. guy doing his job. Yeah. This way, 
I mean, come on, this is yeah. one of the best products. Yeah, yeah. I'll shake your hand on that because honestly, I think it really is. It's paramount, as you say. It's the, it's literally giving them their privacy. Absolutely, like, it's absolutely. They want, it's when they pay that kind of a buck, they deserve yeah. it. Yeah, I agree. So I'll let you take us through to sure. the next meeting. Thank you, Josh. No worries. As always, thanks for the time as well. No worries, no worries. What we're heading to next, it's called the playground. This is specifically designed for kids. So welcome to the kids amenity section. You're gonna have a full-time staff. You have the beautiful kids play area here. Balloon themed lights. You have your two little uh, Lacostes placed right here. You have a very kid-friendly washroom with some fancy tiling. I know she got a, is this a PlayStation or Xbox? Xbox. Xbox. We've got an Xbox, yes. Nice. Well, all the little things. But you could spend hours on an Xbox. Absolutely. I mean, definitely a way to entertain the kids in here. And did you say it's got a full-time nanny? There's, there's a full-time staff, there's a nanny yeah. here. Now it depends on uh, how many hours the client wants the kids to be okay. here. Now that can be a paid thing, yeah. but then generally if they're here for a couple of hours and they yeah. leave their kids here while you're relaxing in the lounge yeah. that we were in before, it's absolutely fine. That's nice part place of it. for the kids to socialize as well. Absolutely. Like all the little friends in the building. Yes, yes. <laughs> Lots of toys. Lots. Than us. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Oh, yeah, fantastic. Thank you for showing us this. No worries at all, no worries at all. Yeah. So this way we complete the 16,000 square foot of amenities area on the 33rd floor. Okay. What I would love to do next is to take you straight to the apartments okay. so that we can uh, take a look at how the layouts are, what the views are, and this way we can uh, show to your clients what value exactly does it bring to them. Okay. Fantastic. Sounds great. Thanks. All right, so let's get to the 50th floor where the show units are. So what you're seeing here is a very luxurious elevator. Yeah. When you took the other elevator to get to the 33rd yeah. floor, of course it was good, but yeah. now this is specifically the residence's elevator. You have your night sky element on right here, yeah. especially, and if you take a look, there's no element of steel or aluminum. Yeah. It is rose gold right okay. here. It does make a big difference as well, my nice elevator, because it's seamless on the way up. Absolutely. I noticed this, actually we're working with another developer called Town X mm -hmm. and the amount of details those founders went into into their mid-rise buildings to get the best elevators and they were speaking about it like it was almost a car. You don't realise until you're in the luxury sector how absolutely. much an elevator means. Absolutely, people. absolutely. The, the other important thing is these are high speed elevators. Okay. So the resident is not gonna, you know, take too much of time to get to their specific yeah. unit. Yeah. So high speed elevators, night sky element, luxurious nice. feel, this is what you yeah. need when you're getting to your unit. Thank you. So I'm gonna walk you through to the two bedroom uh, apartment that we have as a show unit here. It also comes with the maid's room. This way you get to see the floor plan in a much better way. Fantastic, thank you Josh. Absolutely. So welcome to the two bedroom plus uh, maid's apartment. I'm gonna show you the living and the kitchen first and then we're gonna go to the other rooms. Look at this apartment, just look at this Every amazing time I come here, unit. I just, I'm blown away by this view every single time I'm here. And I know when the clients come as well. Mm -hmm. In fact, I have a photo of, um, of a keep and a client standing here, just looking out over this view. And it's nice, well now it's the winter as well, it's clearing up more and more and more. So it's exactly really starting to get quite a bit of color in this. I call this view the best of both worlds and I'll tell you why. You have the sea view and you have the islands view and everything else in between. What do we have in between? We have Emirates Living, you have Dubai Marina, Dubai Eye. You also get to see the palm if you can actually uh, zoom in. And as you move across, as I said, the beautiful sea view. Yeah, um, look, there's one obvious thing I think people speak about, which is this industrial area on the right, left. Right, right. It's not something I want to glance over or try and glaze over and not speak about. It's actually something I personally, I actually quite like. And I know some of the views actually yes. on the other side look towards this and I I look I like to think I have the ability to envision what's coming in Dubai. Right. You can almost it's like a rustic chic. And you can see how this will be developed in the next ten years to come. Absolutely. It's actually, for me it's actually a very attractive view. Looking over to the turquoise sea, you have that rustic chic of the industrial. I really like it. And I think as we move towards Palm Jebel Ali, these right. areas are going to be 
you know, relatively close next to some of these industrial areas. And I per personally think it's, it is almost like a rustic sheet like you have in Brooklyn. Yes. It's like, I think you'll start getting a bit more of a feel and a vibe for the area. Yes. Obviously people find criticisms in everything. Yes. To me, that's not a crit, I think. Criticism is with every neighborhood. View. Criticism exactly. is with every neighborhood yeah. when it first starts off. It's a good thing you touch base on Palm Jebel Ali. Yeah. Think yeah. about it. You're looking at downtown. That's incredible. This is it? uptown. Yeah. Okay. Now Palm Jebel Ali is towards that side. What do you think is going to happen once Palm Jebel Ali is completed? The first town yeah. where they enter is uptown, not downtown. Exactly. Right? Yeah, exactly. When this community yeah. takes shape, when yeah. you're going to have the entire community here yeah. with all the atrium shopping galleries, yeah. with all the fine dines and all of that, yeah. the first point yeah. for Palm Jebel Ali and all the other residents yeah. from that side is this place. <laughs> Completely and utterly agree. I think this is part of the master plan. Yes. This is why I love it. This is why I home in on this area. Yes. As in when we get these new launches in downtown, Absolutely. And everyone flocks to these new launches. I'm thinking, you're overlooking the most important project. Right. Uptown Dubai. Yes, we've got downtown. Yes, it's spectacular. Yes, it's amazing. But right now, as an investment advisor for right. the property industry here, right. I'm saying invest here, invest in Uptown, Uptown Dubai, towards Palm Jebel Ali, Al Maktoum Airport. Yes. This is the way it's being pulled out. And this is the very best building. You're not going to have anything built in the way here. Absolutely not. Vision. Yeah, this is a permanent view that you're going to have there. And if you also think about it, this is the first product of the community. Yeah. So it's not it's not a saturated price that we're selling at. Yeah. Once the community takes shape, capital appreciation yeah. is a guarantee. Yeah, it's true. And you know what? Seeing downtown today, I'm not sure if you're able to pick that up on camera. But you can see all the way down to downtown. Now. Absolutely. And it's, it's amazing that it parallels here with Uptown. And mm -hmm. you've got... If you could tell us a little bit more about the building coming, which is... Sure. You're going to have two small commercial buildings coming up. It's meant okay. for leasing by DMCC. Okay. You're going to have five smaller residential, ground plus 18, ground plus 20. Yeah. So they're not going to obstruct you. Remember, you're on the 50th okay. floor. The final product of this community will be towards that corner right there at this, uh, the, the semicircle kind of place. Yeah. You're going to see the tallest tower of this community, approximately 600 meters tall. Now, remember, it's not going to, let's not look at it as an obstruction. Yeah. It's going to be a beautifully glass building yeah. designed in the diamond shape format as the current building. Yeah. And who are the architects? The same as Burj Khalifa, exactly. Adrian Smith, Gordon Kill. Exactly. This is it. Like, as people say now, a oh, Burj Khalifa view, every development that comes in downtown, exactly. Burj Khalifa view. You're going to have, uh, do you know the name of the new building yet? So have we have told? not yet uh, been given the name of the okay. building uh, as the other buildings as well. But yeah. what we do know is it's coming. It's going to yeah. be approximately 600 meters tall. Yeah. It's going to be a completely glass structure like the current one. Yeah. So you're not looking at as an obstruction. You're looking at as a beautiful building that's diamond shaped. Yeah. And you're going to have your laser shows, light shows, yeah. the New Year shows. Yeah. You're going to have an amphitheater yeah. down there, which is going to gather 6,000 people any given point of time. And eventually, this community will be connected yeah. to the DMCC metro station that you see on the other side of the street right there. I cannot get over how quickly you're building. That amphitheater is coming together. The last video yes. we did was two months ago. Exactly. Now, Things are picking up right now. Uh, we're on a fast pace uh, mode of construction going on right now, especially with this community. Yeah. So what we are advising our clients yeah. is this is the place you want to invest because would you rather pay saturated prices towards Business Bay downtown yeah. just because it has one particular view or you want to be part of the future where <laughs> you're going to have better yeah. views, you're going to have more space, yeah. lesser traffic congestion. Yeah, exactly. And it's more like being able to speak to those people as well who can literally envision 10 years time from now yes. because things happen so quickly here as well as we know yes. and it really is a case of look five years from now this will be completely transformed look 10 years from now this is going to be a completely new area everyone's speaking absolutely about, saying oh my god i want to go to this concert in uptown yes or i want to go here to this restaurant in uptown and then yes. we've got all this expansive space moving towards palm jebel Ali. so much of space available you're yeah. going to see n number of developments coming up yeah and uh it's a good thing that we are one of the first ones to pioneer it and yeah. i remember from one of your videos that i actually watched What's down there? McDonald's. Yeah. Where does McDonald's <laughs> pop up? Most people know, do not know this. Yeah. It's actually a real estate company. Yeah, right? that's interesting. So they usually pick up spots, obviously, where there's high footfall for yeah. their food. And from an investment perspective, yeah. they envision, they do their numbers. They run their numbers. Yeah. They know this place is going to pick up in value. They've yeah. come right over there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah that's so, a mistake. Exactly, uh, exactly. 
from the second biggest real estate company in the world uh, by McDonald's. That's not a mistake at yeah, all. Yeah, exactly. I, uh, I know I've distracted us massively there, speaking about everything now we've hit this view. Are you able to tell us a little bit more about this two bedroom apartment? For sure, why not? So this is a show unit. We've placed the furniture here to give you a perspective how it looks like when it's furnished. Okay. But you, this apartment comes unfurnished. However, kitchen completely fitted out. Yeah. You're looking at engineered stone or quartz as you can call it. We have the U-shaped kitchen. Most developers offer just the L shape. Ours has the U shape, which brings in the island concept for you, okay? You have Bosch and Beko appliances, Beko being the dishwasher and the refrigerator. Yeah. We have all the other appliances as Bosch, yeah. okay? So you have your central gas connection, you have your oven, your microwave, you have your Frankie um, kitchen, uh, the sink setup, sorry. Yeah. So everything else that you see here comes unfurnished okay. in this part. Okay. 2.9 meter floor to ceiling height, okay. which is decent enough. Yeah. I myself am 189 centimeters yeah. or six feet three inches. Yeah. Yeah. It depends on how you measure. Okay. Yeah. And you, I have enough of space, so yeah. the sense of claustrophobia is not gonna be around here. Yeah. If you see the pillars, Yes. That come yeah. in thoughtfully designed towards the corner. Okay. They're never yeah. obstructing right in the middle or you know yeah. any place that's important. Yeah. So they actually don't uh, waste your space. Yeah. You can get your fit out contractor yeah. to design it. You can put like a spiral library, oh, a green good. wall. Yeah, the yeah. Stuff that you must be able to do with these. Absolutely. Products. Fit out contractors in yeah. Dubai are amazing. They come out yeah. with the most creative ideas. You can use it however you'd like to. A portrait yeah. wall, spiral library, you know as I just I said. I absolutely love that you mentioned that. You know, we're talking about what is it could be a feature yeah. of the apartment because obviously this is a magnificent building yes so much instructionally comes first absolutely before it does you know the architecturally what you've got to get this building up to start yes. so i actually really like that we're touching and talking about this pillar because some people will see it i know i've had a client when i've been here who's mm -hmm. mentioned it they've said oh look you know the the pillar and as you say like you actually could do something with this i think if someone's architecturally minded exactly as you say, contacts a firm and says, look, what can we do? This is the expertise um, of the architects that we yeah. have, Gordon Galadrian Smith. Yeah. So uh, they've designed a diamond shaped building. Yeah. They've made sure to give you maximum space in yeah. this beautifully designed building. Yeah. And then you have the pillars that are placed to the corners yeah, and not in smart. the center. Yeah. So this way it doesn't obstruct you. Yeah. It's very smart. So I'll let you carry on through sure. the, the rest of the apartment. Absolutely. Course. What you're looking on the floor is porcelain tile with wooden finish. We do not want any uh, squeaky noises. That's why the wooden element is not used, but the wooden finish is used. What you're seeing here in here is the mage room. Now, mage room is a name given, but then you can use it as a storage space, as your yeah. office. Good thing comes attached with a washroom. Okay. Okay. Now, we have different layouts for two bedrooms. Not all yeah. of them come with the maid's room, but okay. if you do like a maid's room or a storage space, yeah. as you call it, absolutely, we okay. have it. Fantastic. I'll let you carry on through here sure. as well. And this is going into the first. Would We're going to get to the master bedroom now. So this isn't considered the master bedroom. This is the master this bedroom. Is the master this bedroom. is the master Sorry. bedroom. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No worries, this is the master bedroom. You're probably surprised because both the rooms are similar in size. That's exactly what Yeah, we've not compromised on the space. We've not compromised. over to uh, towards the palm. Yes. And then this one's got the open sea view. The open sea view. The sizes are similar. We call this the master bedroom because the washroom right here, it has the bathtub. So we provide the bathtub in the master washroom only. And then you have the standing shower as well and the toilet. Now, beautifully fitted with Groher German appliances. So everything that we have here is European fitted um, equipment. And I love that you have the bathtub as well. Absolutely. That's incredible. I think the master bedroom definitely deserves a <laughs> bathtub. I love this open panoramic view. And you know what, it does make me laugh when you would hear people criticize this industrial area. Yes. It's like people will find criticism of everything, but I actually personally really love that view. I yes. love this open panoramic view. Absolutely. See. And then toward, oh my God, you can see Palm Jabal. You can today see as well. Palm Jabal Ali today. Today is a clear day. That's why you're able to see this. As I was just mentioning earlier, where are those people going to go when they head towards the city? The first place is uptown. Exactly. And then they're going to get yeah. to downtown. Yeah, exactly. And you can, you can see the ascension of how it's going to be. Absolutely. So we're expanding it. towards what we call as the Abu Dhabi site. So this is where you drive towards Abu Dhabi, yeah. right? So it's going to get expanded. You're going to see more projects come this way. Yeah. Business is going to shift. It's going to move. It's not going to be located geographically just towards downtown. Yeah. And you don't want it because too much of congestion eventually yeah. is going to cause what you call as a choke. 
yeah, right? And yeah, then instead yeah. of getting fed up yeah. and just moving out elsewhere, start pushing out right now. Yeah. It's true. Ah, it's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. So we'll go through to the, the second room. Yeah. Let's check out the second room. It's like obviously all the fits of wardrobes. And everything else. Absolutely. So we, Let me so show you in the second room. Right yeah, here. don't worry. I know we don't need to touch on all the individualities. We'll yeah. be here all day. So we have the uh, washroom right here. The second room has uh, just a regular washroom. Okay. okay. The bathtub, as I said, is specific to the master bedroom washroom. What's uh, good about the second room in most of the two bedrooms is, they, as I said, they're very similar in size. Our wardrobes are uh, illuminated wardrobes, so when you open the door, the lights switch on. Yeah. When you close the door, the lights switch off automatically. Okay. There's no particular switch for it, it's automatic. That's okay? Know, actually. Absolutely. I say, all the little, little bits I haven't noticed previously, interestingly, until someone They've paid attention out. to small details, yeah. the, the design team, the architects. Uh, these things make a difference, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. The view as well, it's very different, the view. Obviously, because you're looking over the JLT, you're looking over Maria, you're looking over towards the pond. The yes. Water. It just it does make a very different view. Yes. I uh, I personally I, I prefer the the view over the panoramic. See, obviously, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. who knows what's to come in the next ten years though? Across exactly. The, across here, I mean, it is spectacular. This is a hundred percent the best views you can get. In Absolutely, because you're seeing all the way from downtown. Like, look at it today. Today you can see the Burj Khalifa because it's a clear day all the way right there. Ah, it's incredible. You're seeing the uh, Burj Al Arab as well. You're seeing Dubai Marina. You're seeing JBR. You're seeing, if you can literally see there, I can see the Atlantis Hotel in between right there. Yeah. You're seeing the Palm. And on the other side, you saw Palm Jabal Ali. Yeah, exactly. And so, I, I know, so this is, so this is gonna be, a, Depending on what view you like most, whether you like the sea view or you like looking over... The islands and the park. Yeah. Which I will take you there, yeah. by the so way. Should we yes. go and have a look at that now? Because Let's do it now. Because this is a completely, entirely different view. So every single side of the building offers you a different view. And you're literally looking over Jumeirah Islands and it, it, it is an amazing view. You don't have the sea view, but you have this completely uninterrupted view that will continue to stay uninterrupted because the low-rise building bill is... Sorry, because the villas are already there, yes. you're going to have that view for, well, for forever. Um, so should we go and take a look at the Let's Jumeirah do it. Parks and Jumeirah Island view? Let's do it. I'm going to see a one-bedroom show unit that's overlooking Jumeirah Park yeah. and Jumeirah Islands. Personally, I know yeah. you like that view, yeah. but again, it's a matter of perception. Yeah. I prefer this view. Come on, let's take a look. Look at this beauty. Just look at it. You have water body, you have greenery, you see swimming pools, you see the beautiful villas, and all the way at the back, you're gonna see JVC in the backdrop. So it's not like you're missing out on the building's view. There are buildings at the back as well. But man, after a tiring day of work, yeah. I wanna come home to this. You made a very good point with the last client actually yeah. saying that, like in the evening, when it, it, you maybe just wanna just relax a little yeah. bit. You don't want the, you've been looking at city lights all exactly. day. Maybe you don't want to look at city lights in the evening. You actually just want to look over here. It'll be much darker, a much more peaceful. Exactly. View. It's very soothing. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I do. I can completely see where you're coming from. Out of it's just my perspective. That's it. Obviously, you're showing people day in, day out. Yes. So uptown. Yes. What's people's preference on the view? This one. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. So they usually I take them to the two bedroom first. Yeah. They're like they're amazed. They're like, wow, this yeah. is what I want. This yeah. is good. I'm like, hang on. <laughs> and then and I show them the one bedroom yeah. show you and they're like, I think this is good. Because yeah. the moment you enter in, yeah. all of a sudden you have this soothing effect on your eyes. Yeah. You're not seeing a, um, a lot of concrete buildings, glasses. Yeah. Again, it's a matter of choice. Some of them like it. Yeah. But once they see this, they prefer this one as well. Yeah. So we leave it to the client at the end of the day. Which yeah. one do you prefer? You like lights at night? You like to see some bustling, yeah. uh, you know, nightlife kind of a situation? Yeah. You're looking at that side. Yeah. You want not darkness yeah. you're looking at let's say for example the street lights going to be switched on you're also going to see it's not like you're looking into pitch dark like you it's know like some of the sea view places almost. exactly it's... you're looking at the houses here 
And my only question is, how long are you going to look at darkness? You're not going to look at it all the time, yeah, right? True, yeah. But once you're done with a hard day's work, you come home in the evening, you want to grab your coffee, yeah. you just want to put a chair here and look at this beautiful view. Yeah. I personally would prefer this. Yeah, you definitely yes. sound like to me. I, uh, as much as I love a sea view, this definitely competes with it. That's you can sure. have your sea view as yeah. well. Let me tell you how. Okay. What does the swimming pool look at? It looks at the sea. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Yeah. So even if you buy your unit here, you want to go for a swim. It's <laughs> open till 10 p.m. Yeah, yeah. The sun sets at the That's sea. Very, yeah. It's not like exactly. you're locked into this view. That's why the whole 33rd floor is amenities. It depends which view you like. Uh, so that's why they've continued it across the floor. The way exactly, exactly. Interesting. Let's put a scenario. Yeah. You buy this unit. You're looking at Jumeirah Park, Jumeirah Islands, Emirates Living. Yeah. You want to look at the buildings now. Go to the gymnasium. You yeah. work out. You see the same view as from the 04 unit yeah. that I showed you. Or let's say you want to look at the sea view, yeah. you're not interested in going to the gym, yeah. go to the swimming pool, yeah. relax by the jacuzzi. Yeah. Yeah. We have everything for everyone. That makes a lot of sense. I've not Absolutely. really thought about that. It's yeah, we're not going to restrict you with your view. <laughs> your unit may have a uh, restricted yeah. view, but the amenities flow has it. Come on. One thing I love about this apartment as well is the simple layout. Mm -hmm. It works. Yes. I mean, it really, really works. Just to have this out safe kitchen. Yeah, Again, you have the U-shaped kitchen, U -shaped, sorry. right? So these are the so this is the center unit. What we yeah. saw previously was the corner unit. Okay. So obviously this is more like a square or a yeah. rectangle, which inscribes yeah. more area. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So uh, what you're seeing here is the common washroom or the powder room, as okay. they call it. Yeah. Again, no element of luxury has been missed out. It's this is so important. As exactly. Well, more and more one beds come onto the market. Yes. With only the ensuite. Absolutely. And from a guest perspective, you then have to have a guest walking through your bedroom yes. to get to your suite. You don't want that happening. Uh, exactly. Really, particularly with luxury apartments. We've not done that here. Every one bedroom has its own powder room or yeah. common washroom or your guest washroom, as you call it. Yeah. And uh, this is something of utmost importance. Like, yeah. let's say you have a simple business meeting going yeah. on. You have your family inside, or yeah. I don't know, you could be having your other things in there. Yeah, you exactly. just do not want somebody walking into your bedroom. It's a private area. Exactly, it's, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I know what you mean. Some of the units to cut down on size, uh, they yeah. do this. We start Absolutely. To more and more, actually. And it's quite common in the UK with the development. Uh, is it? Okay. It's just to have one ensuite. Okay. Or one bathroom. So it's, yeah, it's, it'd be a shame to see it started to go missing in the apartments here. As well. <laughs> yeah, let's um, not have that. <laughs> And now we are into the bedroom right here. Yeah. Again, you have your illuminated wardrobe space. You have an illuminated wardrobe right here as well. You have your washroom here. Now all the units yeah. come with the dresser. I'm not sure if I mentioned this earlier. Okay. This dresser that you see comes fitted in with the mirror. Okay, mm -hmm. absolutely. Nice big difference. And that's I made a lovely slab of marble as well. So yes. It's absolutely stunning. You can see yourself living here very easily. Like, you know, these are nice big spaces. Mm -hmm. like, it's got your dresser. You can yes. see, you know, you could easily see yourself living here as a couple. Of uh, course, because the average uh, size of a one bedroom is around 800 square feet. Like yeah. it goes from 770 all the way up till 900 and 1000 yeah. as well for some of the units. If I make an average, you're looking at an 800 square feet apartment, yeah. which is a decent size yeah. for a one bedroom yeah, with agreed. two washrooms, one full and yeah. one half washroom. Yeah. You're getting the beautiful views. You're yeah. getting this whole building is maintained by the So Group itself. Okay. Yeah. So the common area maintenance, yeah. the valet, the concierge, yeah. everything. Yeah. Now, the best part about owning an apartment here is you get the diamond tier membership, the second highest membership of the Accor Group. This way, you're eligible for all the discounts, points, upgrades at any of the Accor Group hotels which is very important. Yeah, yeah. So there's five bar and restaurants yeah. in this building. They absolutely get discount all the time. Wow. Your residents. Yes, brilliant. exactly. Okay. So these are the perks there. Yeah. So <clears throat> if somebody is looking at me and asking me, why, why branded residents? You know, why should I go for it? Yeah. These are the important things. You know, yeah. you are a high net worth individual. Yeah. Your time is of the utmost important essence to you. Yeah. While I parked your car, you walk yeah. straight to your apartment. Any trouble taken care by the concierge and security, yeah, like the sucks. private theater, or let's say you need to make a reservation in one of the restaurants. Mm -hmm. You know, at that moment, you're not gonna start searching for the restaurant's number or any of that. Call the concierge, I need a reservation, 7 p.m. for me and my family, my business part yeah. of whoever it is, taken care of. Yeah, this is the difference between non-branded and branded residents. Yeah. Now, there are branded residences in the market yeah. that only apply a brand name and do not yeah. offer services. We are not one amongst them. The five-star hotel is in this property, yeah. so 
the services are top notch. That's very interesting. And it's very well put together, actually, the way you put that. Thank you. Uh, is it something you know people do want when they're buying these luxury residences? This is the most luxurious building. I'm working across 350 developments. Yes. I can say this is the most luxurious building. In you know what's life. funny about it? So well, somebody asked me, what's your competitor here? Yeah. So specific to this area, I'll answer none, because there's no other product here. <laughs> in this area, there's no other product. Yeah. You may find something in downtown, yeah. MR Beachfront. You may have yeah. some competitors, but we go by neighborhood. Yeah, right yeah. so in this neighborhood with this view with this fit finish yeah. quality and with these five star services yeah. we don't have a competitor we are the only ones yeah. and we are ready we are not yeah. off plan yeah okay yeah. so if your client wants to come in and take a look yeah. and they want to move in ASAP yeah come on in I think if it was up to me mm-hmm I would go for this view. Yeah, and, and so I completely understand. Yeah. You know why? Because you like the rustic industrial look yeah. combined with the sea view, combined cool. with the palm view. Yeah. I absolutely get yeah. it. I absolutely get it. It is interesting, isn't it? Because then you do have that that completely opposite view off the other yes. side, which has the low rises. And I feel like this is just a little bit more entertaining, a little bit more interesting. But then, at the end, I suppose, when you are living here, yeah. You're going to want to relax at the end of the day. You probably don't want to be staring at buildings all day. But then again, you know, yeah. I'm sure there'll be plenty of people who own and live in these buildings mm -hmm. who are only, you know, spending a month at a time. Yeah. You know, go somewhere else. You know, they're most likely jet setters. You would be Obviously, yes. So Think about it this way. So we spoke about this in the previous unit. Let's do the flip side. You buy a unit here. You're looking at the sea view. You have all the building views as well. Now you want to see the park and islands view. Where do you go? Yeah. The residence lounge area. Exactly. There's a coffee yeah, machine there, yeah. you sip on coffee, yeah. you're looking at the islands, <laughs> uh, you're looking at Emirates Living yeah. and Jumeirah Park. As I said, it doesn't matter where you buy yeah. uh, the unit on a particular floor, yeah. you, you miss a particular view, we have the amenities floor that takes yeah. care of it. Yeah, that's true. You're right. There we go. You're right. So it's not all the views covered? We've got all the views. Absolutely, okay. yes. From uh, almost a 360 degree perspective, yeah. we've covered pretty much all the okay. important views that we've we need. We've covered all the amenities. Yes. I think we've discussed, spoken about a lot, chatted about a lot. One amenity is still left out. Cherry on top, the outdoor pool. I'm going to take okay. you there. Would you mind? Uh, is it possible we could see a restaurant or two as well? Don't Why don't we do it on the way? Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's do this. I show you the, before we go to the outdoor pool, okay. before we go to any of the restaurants, yeah. let's show the residents how their entrance looks like. Sounds good to me. Perfect. You're natural. You need to start your own YouTube channel. You're Why? natural. Oh, <laughs> and I've been watching a lot of videos actually. I feel like you are natural though. Some people can see you put a camera on. Oh God, they start to panic yeah, and all of that. No, it's yeah, fine. It's hey Zainab, how's it going? Oh, it's the down, mate. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so, this is where the residents will be entering from. You're going to have the valet parking and the concierge right here. So, a typical day would look like the car stops here. Yeah. The hand, he, hands, so he or she hands over the keys to the valet, yeah. they walk right in yeah. and they go to that elevator which we just got down from okay. up to the 33rd floor yeah. without stopping anywhere because it's yeah. pre-programmed to get to 33rd floor okay. only yeah. and from there they go to yeah. their residences. Nice. Now the reason why we have this yeah. is we need to make sure that they can get to the amenities fast yeah. and then just to ensure separation of commercial, residential yeah. and hotel and remember they have access cards so it's not everybody who can get in there. Yeah. Another way is you're looking at, let's say, some delivery from Deliveroo, Talabat, yeah. or Kareem showing up here. The concierge is going to call yeah. the resident. They have two options. They come down and pick it up by themselves if they do not want the guy to go yeah. upstairs. Or if he gives permission to the concierge, yeah. they go straight right up. Okay. But with security, okay. right? Yeah. So yeah. not as in the security companies them. Yeah. The security aspect is taken care of there. Yeah. So nobody just walks in straight away, goes up. None of that happening. Yeah. because. Um, 
a lot of times they are usually asked to keep the Emirates ID yeah. here and only then they get to go up if they're going up by themselves. Yeah. So this is again touching base with the security aspect that we spoke about yeah. earlier. Yeah. Okay, so this is the beautiful residence lounge. There's going to be more furniture placed soon for the, uh, let's say there's a guest or there's some friend of the resident who's here. Yeah, well, They're going to be in the waiting area here. Yeah, it's always nice to have a nice waiting lobby as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. It's the first impression you may have to the guest you're meeting for the first Absolutely. time. Absolutely. Absolutely. Very, very, very nice lobby. And I love this whole van, the way you continued the di diamond cuts throughout. Yes, because why? GIA, the biggest diamond trading body, is in the commercial building here. So you have them completely, not completely, they, they occupy a big chunk of yeah. the space in the commercial uh, division that we have here. So the DMCC, Dubai Multi Commodities, yeah. right? So they trade with uh, diamonds. Now, yeah. that was the theme of this project. That's why you see it's not a linear rectangle going yeah. up, it's actually a diamond shaped building. That's why each apartment has a different floor plan, especially near the corners. That's incredible. I absolutely can see really there. It protrudes out quite all these diamond cuts throughout. Yes. You can observe it in the carpets. Yeah. Uh, in fact, uh, when we were walking in on the 50th floor, the fall ceiling element in the common area yeah. that also had the diamond shaped element. Yes. Interesting. I'll notice that the next time we see it now. Even if it each and every yard. Yes. Beautiful. The amount of details that's gone into all of this as well, it's the exact same as the renders. Absolutely. absolutely all of these, these lift entrances. You can see no expenses being expended. No, absolutely not. So everything is taken care of, you're on point there. Absolutely spectacular. Even here, you can feel the grandeur as you walk through. Yes. With these big, massive doors that you can look towards. And if you observe most of the floors, check out the floor to ceiling height. Yeah. It's, so here we go. This okay. is the false ceiling that I was talking about with the diamond element. You'll observe this on every floor. Very interesting. All right, come on. I won't be able to stop seeing it now. That's the only <laughs> thing. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for showing us around the building. No worries. Anytime, anytime. So we're in the hotel side right now, okay? What you're seeing here, this is one of the five bar and restaurants. It's called the Citronelle Club, okay? It's a Pan-Asian cuisine-themed restaurant. Let's check it out. Sounds good. Is this now open to the public? It is, it is. So right now it's open in the evenings. Uh, very soon they're going to open it in the afternoon as well, once the residences are opened up. So you have a good collection of Japanese whiskey here. You have other whiskeys as well, but they have a good collection of Japanese whiskeys, what I meant cool to say. Absolutely. Dedicated to Asian cuisine, not any specific country, pan Asian. You're going to have a live kitchen around there. So, I was explaining the scenario earlier. You want a reservation here. Yeah. You're busy, you're a high net worth individual, yeah. you've got no time to run around places and just for a reservation, call the concierge, concierge yeah. calls the restaurant, makes the arrangement for you, yeah. all you worry about is dressing up and showing up. Fantastic. Just so you can picture someone in the back of their S500 traveling towards, yes. so uptown to the evening where they yes. live, they've called the concierge, they've got the booking for the evening, they're meeting their guests Absolutely. Here. And unlike regular uh, guests or uh, customers, your resident has discounts here. Remember, they have the diamond tier membership. For sure. If you don't know, I'm asking, do you know how much the discount is for residents? From what I read last time, um, minimum is 10%. Now that number can change, but what we do know is they do have the discount at all points of time. I just have a picture of this restaurant, alive, buzzing, you know, people waiting here with their glass yes. of Japanese whiskey. Absolutely. And Maybe me and you should try this sometime. Yeah, I'll be definitely <laughs> for that. <laughs> Sounds like a good evening. Sounds, it will be a good evening, definitely. Yeah, we'll make that one happen for sure. We will make it happen. God willing, we'll yeah. make that happen. <laughs> Perfect. Huge. Let's head this Josh. way. Thank you. No worries. Oh, wow. you, can, you know what? Now you speak about the diamond shapes. Here we go. All the diamond shaped. And this is now the hotel? This is the hotel. Now, we're overlooking the hotel lobby, which is downstairs, if we can take a look. It's getting busier and busier. Yes, it's picking up right now. Let's look at the prices as well. The prices are going higher and higher by the week. Yes, because we're close to complete handover of the building, right? Yeah. So once the complete handover takes place, uh, you're going to have a lot of the residences here. You're going to have more of hotel guests here. The commercial is already leased out. They actually are 
pretty much all over the building in terms of providing business to restaurants and all yeah. these places. So it's just a matter of time. You may want to capture this up close. So where we are going right now is called Lazuli. Okay. This is an outdoor pool of yeah. the hotel, which a resident has access to. Fantastic. Okay. To now know. remember, it's not vice versa. Yeah. So they don't, the, re, the hotel guests don't have access to the 33rd floor. Yeah. It's only the resident that has access to these amenities. Okay. Same with the hotel gym. Yeah. The hotel gym, the resident can access it. That's interesting. Okay. So you give my residents access to Absolutely. The Absolutely. Aren't they owners so here? <laughs> free rain, haven't they, over the building, right? It must be very interesting as well to meet new hotel guests each time. Oh. Yes, absolutely. So, this is where the restaurant is, and now let's head towards the pool. Okay. Hey guys, how are you? I'm good, Hello. thank you. Hi, sir. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. How are you? Good Hello, you. how are you? So, you're looking at the beautiful outdoor sure pool. Okay. You're gonna have a complete bar counter yeah. there. There's bar stools in the swimming pool. Yeah. Isn't that great? Yeah. Sort of gives you the Caribbean yeah. Miami vibes. Absolutely. You're gonna have a bunch of sunbeds. There's more space here. Let's yeah. go take a look. I love the layout. It's super, again, it's super luxury. And Everything also the colors. It. Yeah. There's, there's something about these colors, especially when the sun is out bright. Kinds yeah. of gives you the party vibes. It kind of yeah, lifts yeah, up the atmosphere exactly. a little bit. You can feel Speaking of party, by the way, let's say for a particular evening, yeah. somebody wants to book out the space, they can do that. Yeah, yes. that's nice to know. So, oh. so you could actually book out the space. How yeah. would that work with the? You call the concierge and then they book it with the um, in charge right here. Nice. Absolutely. So you could get yourself a nice little section yeah. for your evening. There's a minimum guest requirement so yeah. that the hotel will uh, set it out. What I'm saying is the possibility exists. Yeah, okay. Yes. Just look at how uh, blue the waters are. The one thing I do like is you've got a pump. On, yeah. So you yeah. actually have draft beer as well. Absolutely. It's important. Another evening for that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yes. I look forward to that one. Absolutely. Where is it? I tell you what, as, a, as an English person, you've got to have a draft draft beer at the pool. You know, that's a, <laughs> it's definitely a selling point for us. It's a trademark. You need it. Yeah. It's a trademark. You need it. Absolutely stunning. It's amazing looking up at the building as well. As you look at the building from right here, it's just mesmerizing. The beautiful glass structure, just look at it. That's incredible, right directly underneath it. I'd love to spend the day here. In fact, I will spend the day here in the next couple of weeks and make sure to get myself a full day. Yes. Relax, enjoy it. <laughs> right, brilliant. So, we're in the hotel section again now. This is called Celeste. It's one of the other bars and restaurants. So let's go and take a look. Now, this is a very classic uh, bar and restaurant that you're seeing. Absolute finest fit finish quality. And the good thing is in this particular bar, you're gonna have your drink and food with the sea views right here. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love the same for the bar. This one's well. not open yet. It'll be opened once the residence is handed over. Yeah. Yes. It's beautiful. Uh, the set for the bars as well makes such a difference. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. It makes the place so social and the atmosphere a lot more ambient when you have that ability to you know, just sit in the bar, chat to someone you may not know. Or exactly. Come down for the evening, socialize, you know, maybe see someone there. Oh, hi, how are you doing? Yeah. Before you know it, right. probably networking with everyone you get to know within two, three years. I agree with you 100%. Because think about it residents are here, yeah. hotel guests will be here, both yeah. have access to it. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of talk, mingling yeah. going around. Yeah. Networking is definitely something that's going to happen. You can just see it in the evening, everyone sitting with their nice drinks or their favorite drink. Yeah. You know, they'll see X, they'll speak to, oh, hi, how's it going? You can see the ambience and the atmosphere of this and how it's going to be. The uh, focus in this particular restaurant that I had compared to the others is the extreme attention to detail in terms of color, be it the fit finish, be it the choice of the tables, especially yeah. the small circular tables. And of course, we can't miss the circular bar counter that ah, you emphasized on. Definitely, yeah. And it's nice having this platform level. It's honestly a beautiful bar. Imagine yes. Bar. Imagine having all the bar stools right uh, here. So there we go, we have one. 
picture this. You see it here. Yeah. You have your beer, your scotch, yeah. your cocktail, whatever yeah. it is. And imagine you're looking at this beautiful sea view, Palm Jabal Ali towards the west right there. You're seeing Dubai Marina. Yeah. You're seeing the Dubai Eye. Yeah. What could be better for that evening? <laughs> so, yeah, you've been looking down onto the concerts. Right, so when the community takes shape completely, um, think about it, all the live music shows yeah. that are going on, the fireworks, the laser shows, the yeah. drone uh, the drone shows that they're going to have, yeah. everything visible from this yeah, bar exactly. right you here. Do, uh, you exactly. feel so unbelievably VIP being up here. Absolutely. Looking at this. It's absolutely spectacular. This is, instead of going to downtown, it's how oh, meet you at uptown. Yes, it will be the new thing. This yeah. is what I've always said. We all we spoke about this. We touched base yeah. on this in the previous conversation yeah. that we just had. That's too crowded now. Yeah. Downtown, be it business, be it downtown, yeah. anywhere. Oh, what has a friend of yours told you? I'm going to be there in 45 minutes, an hour. Exactly. Right. Interestingly, as well, I went to Energy Metro Station on the weekend, and as I got off from Energy, there's um, there's one or two developments now starting down there. Okay. In the the Wassail Gate area. Right. But I thought to myself, you know what? I even I posted this video out. I said I'd far rather live in this area and right. travel yeah. to uptown. Yes. Than I would live elsewhere and have to travel to downtown. I that expansive space, and I think obviously you've got the forward planning to make sure that. The roads will cope. Yes. You know, everything's going to have that free flow of movement. So I think anyone who is looking at, you know, having a, a building or a apartment that's going to benefit from the future plans, mm -hmm. it's this area. And even right towards uh, Wassel Gate. I agree with you 100% on this. This is exactly what I pitch towards, be it my brokers or the yeah. clients whom I entertain. Um, like you got to look at it in terms of value. Real yeah. estate, especially, it's it's not like a lottery where you buy today and win tomorrow yeah. if you win. You got to look at it at a long-term perspective. Exactly. So if you have the vision, if you can see this community taking shape yeah. in front of your eyes, and this is going to be completed, by the way, in the next four to five years itself, yeah. capital growth, return on equity. You're not living here, you want to rent it out, you can do that. You're part of a five-star hotel yeah. brand. You're not in a congested part of yeah. the city, which is more important, true. right? Beautiful true. views. You have accessibility to both sides of yeah. the town. This is the place to be. And interestingly as well, I looked at one development which stood out from the crowd when I just got off the energy metro station, which the same rentals okay. as what JVC was achieving. I'm there we go. That, this is a massively underdeveloped there we go. area. So what does that speak? It means that the area is picking up business exactly. towards this site. Is, it's driving business yeah. away from the saturated downtown business yeah. and all of these areas. I mean, the, are they good? Yes, those areas are good. We're not saying no. But do you want to keep continuing to invest there when it's saturated already? Yeah. Or do you want to invest in a place where there is capital growth exactly. possibility? Invest in the future. Exactly. Always. It's exactly. Completely agree. I, uh, I appreciate you're going to have a very busy day ahead of you. Yes. So, shall I let you get going now? And we'll go down, we'll see the model. Um, so, we'll, I'll go down, have a okay. look at the model. Okay. And then I'll just talk people through the model and what sure. it's become. Um, and uh, yeah, more than anything, Josh, I really do appreciate your time as always. No worries at all, anytime. When you're looking at the model now, you will be able to better explain the perspective of the entire community because yeah. you've literally gone through the whole building. Yeah, exactly. And then you can also check out uh, probably how it connects eventually to the DMCC metro station. Yeah. That will be towards the end. Yeah. So this way, your clients will be able to make better decisions. Exactly. And I know okay. we've gone into loads of detail. We spoke about everything. Yes. So we We've done what we said we'd do, which yes. is, you know, have a free flow and conversation, actually give people a real picture and an image right. of Dubai uptown. Yes. You know, really make them feel what this is and what it's becoming and, and what they're purchasing into by purchasing yes. a, an apartment here. You know, you're not just buying an apartment, you're buying something much greater than that. We call it you're buying a lifestyle. Quite, yeah, you really truly are. Like you know yeah. these people who will only invest in downtown. They'll only they are only ever solely in downtown. It's, it's because the, uh, the way the brokerages and investors and advisors yeah. have pitched yeah. it to them, right? Yeah. Now what's happening is um, like-minded uh, people like yeah. yourself. They have pushed clients to invest outside as yeah. well because yeah. if you want to see growth, 
You got yeah. to invest in areas that are growing, not yeah. saturated. The word growth comes from these uh, perspectives, <laughs> right? True. So uh, let's focus on trying to get clients to understand the value, yeah. wherein the investment is taken care of and the lifestyle is taken care yeah. of. Because this product is yeah. not just for investors, it's for end users as yeah. well. Yeah. So you want to avail the valet service, the concierge yeah. service, the private theater, yeah. the indoor, outdoor pool, the views, yeah, right? Exactly. So you're an end user, your investment is taken yeah. care of, it's a win-win situation. Perfect, and I should say, if you are... So we've recorded so much for you here to give you such an in-depth view. The camera's run out, so we're now onto our, our second camera. Um, Josh, thank you very much, I really appreciate it. If you are interested in obviously meeting me and Josh and having a look around so uptown and you're serious about looking at one of these investment opportunities, or it could be as an end user you're interested in actually purchasing this to be able to live, stay and play here, then please do get in contact with me. And uh, Josh, thank you. I really do appreciate anytime, it. Anytime, anytime. So now that we've gone through every single aspect with Josh, I want to very briefly show you the overview so you fully understand what we were looking at when we were in the apartments above and what Uptown Dubai is going to be. It's going to be the most spectacular development in Dubai and it already is with so Uptown. So you have the low rise building, seven low rise in total, and then two mega structures. So you have so Uptown, which we're building here. And then at the moment, this is the DNCC Tower, uh, yet to be given its official name. But I want to give you a, a proper overview of exactly what this development is going to be in. Interestingly, the amphitheater in the middle is 8,000 capacity. So this is now a real hub. And then as you can see with the match, the plans were expanding towards Palm Jabal Alley. This really is the new area, the new focus, the focus on. This is something I have completely of confidence in when saying to the, my clients, this is the area to invest in that's going to benefit from the master plans of Dubai.